Hi friends, my name is Mrs. Willis. I am the art teacher at Summerbee Elementary School. And today I'm going to be teaching you about a style of art known as pop art. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of those images in the opening of this video. Those were created by an artist and painter whose name is Bridget Riley. Bridget Riley founded the op art movement. Her idea was to fool viewers into thinking that something was happening on the page that really wasn't. She had a way of making her art look as if it was moving or vibrating or even flashing. Um, sometimes she also created images that looked as if they were tunneling into the page. So today we are going to dive into the op art style and make an illusion of our own. Um, so you're going to need a pencil today. You're also going to need a ruler and a sharpie. Oh, and of course, a piece of paper. So I hope you have all four of those things. And once you do, we're ready to get started. All right, you can see that I've gone ahead and done some finishing touches here to really help create the illusion of depth in this tunnel. I've used a trick called value. Value refers to the light and the dark of colors. So I've just used a pencil here and I've created some darker values in closer to this bottom left-hand corner and gradually lightened up with my pencil work as I've come out to the edge of the cube here. So I want you to just do a quick little value scale. So grab a piece of scrap paper and draw a little rectangle here and divide that rectangle into a few different uh, squares. Starting on the left-hand side, I want you to try to make the darkest value possible with your pencil. By coloring in one direction, and pushing down really hard, we can create a darker value with our pencil. I can also flip and I can color in the opposite direction to really intensify the darkness of that color. I'm again pushing down really hard. So in my next section, I'm gonna lighten up a little bit. So I might not push quite so hard, and I'm gonna fill that space. And I might go ahead and hit it again in the opposite direction. Now remember, this is just a practice exercise. You don't have to stay in between the lines or anything. Just try to get the idea that it's changing slightly in value from the super dark to a little bit lighter. There we go. And I'm gonna, go, of course, get a little bit lighter. I'm not pushing down quite as hard. And you know what? I think I'm not gonna go back in the other direction. And the next one I wanna get even lighter. So I'm just barely putting pressure on my pencil. And same thing here, even lighter. Just barely touching the surface. You can also use your eraser to lighten up. So color it in, but also take a little bit of that color away. You can use your finger to blend. You can even take 
Let's see if I can pick up a little color here on my finger. I've picked up a little bit of color here and maybe I'm gonna even make the next section just using what's on my finger. There we go. So play around with making a value scale. See if you can get a really dark value and work your way over to the lightest possible value you can make with your pencil. Once you have five or six values, you should be good to go here and fill in starting um, in the bottom left-hand corner with the darkest value you can make and work your way lighter as you go and you'll really create this illusion of depth in your space. It almost looks like my pencil could fall right down in there and disappear. All right, hope you had some fun making an optical illusion with me today and I hope to see you again soon.